Okay, what I'd like to do is show you how to put a plywood deck on a snowmobile trailer. Um, so that's the, gonna be the main point of this video. Also, stay tuned with this video because I will also be building a, once I get the deck on here, the next part in this series will be how to build a covered trailer wagon type thing. You know, like those pop-up trailers? But I'm gonna do it on this snowmobile trailer going to be exciting. I'm really interested in it. I've been thinking about it for a long time. So let's get to work. Okay so this is just a old tilt trailer I got for 50 bucks. The decking was gone already. Rotten. Yep. That tire was flat. Just put some air in it and it's holding pretty good. Um, but these things, let me see. I can show you. These bolts were what was holding on the plywood decking. So we're just taking those off right now. We could unscrew those, put some WD-40 on there, but I didn't have the right um, head right there to take them out with properly. I'm not sure that they'd work anyways. It's kind of rusted. So I tried using some vice grips and that was working, just taking a little time. So I just started using a grinder from Harbor Freight to take those off with. Elijah, could you come hold this and Show how to do that. Elijah. So it's now flush so I can put new decking down and that's what I've been doing with all the other ones. These tilt trailers are made for snowmobiles and ATVs. This one particularly was set up for a snowmobile setup. So there's this piece right there in the middle that's going to stick through the, the decking if we leave it there, so Elijah's decided he's going to bang on it back and forth, back and forth, and hopefully break the the weld that's there. I think that's a pretty good idea, Elijah. Good job. And he got it off. Good job, Elijah. Now that Elijah got that off, there's this ridge of weld right here that I'll have to get off to make it smooth. And I'll just use the grinder for that. several, I don't know, maybe four coats of this on there and let it dry and well just soak in between each coat and then I'll put it onto the trailer, then I'll screw it onto the trailer. doing the plywood make sure you get the sides because that's a really good place for water to get in and then it'll separate the plywood 
All right, so I want to put my um, 4x8 plywood on the trailer now. And I've already kind of done this, but the main point of this, when you put it down, is you've got to have something to screw to or bolt to. And then you've got to have something underneath the plywood to support it so that when you put a heavy object on there, it doesn't just break the wood and fall through the trailer. So, if you can see, there's all these different beams metal beams coming across and they even have these little pieces of L metal welded onto the sides here. I'm going to want to screw onto these, this L metal and these beams um, as much as I can. And I've already figured it out that my piece of 2x8 plywood will fit best down here at this end. It'll actually give me enough so I can split this beam right here. So that I have part of this piece that will fit on here and then there will be a little bit left for screwing those on with. So this is how I'm going to put it on. Take this. see it fit really well. This two feet right here because this is 10 feet long by eight feet wide so it fits perfectly eight feet across two feet in. I've got the L metal back here to screw to and the, um, the beam over here that I can screw to and I've got maybe an inch to screw to with the other plywood. So I'll get that screwed on and then I'll work with the other stuff. YouTube and I couldn't find one so this is how you put a plywood deck on a snowmobile trailer um, it's pretty easy I want I did want to tell you about the screws that I used one here, I'll show you. these screws are a special screw so that they're they're designed so that the tip will cut through the metal and then this part will thread onto the metal and it'll hold the the plywood onto the the deck. Um, you can I got these at Lowe's, I think. No, it was Home Depot. I think is where I got these. Do you remember what they're called? Um, yeah, hang on just a minute. Okay, so this is the box I got them from. They're let's see here, self-drilling flathead screws, and I got the two inch ones. They seem to work pretty good. And so that's how to do it. Now the rest of the series I'm going to build, I'm going to try to build a, a um, like a tent trailer on top of this. It'll fold up and it'll have a kind of like a covered wagon top with, with, uh, with canvas on top. So that's what I'm going to try to do. So if you want to watch, watch the rest of them. <laughs> 